What can you tell me about Underworld? This is a town full of peace-loving ghouls, so check your bigotry at the door. They're just like humans. They feel, they hurt, they bleed. They deserve the same love and respect as any human, and don't you forget it. I agree with you. I have no problem with that. At least that's what they programmed <laughs> me to say. Right, okay. Personally, I think they're a bunch of rotting zombie maggot farms. Okay. I'd send them all back to hell if I could. Damn this combat and hit <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment mod list. I am the Bearded OG, and I am now a more honest man. <laughs> so what I what I did is I went into my tweaks menu for all the mods and stuff that I have, and I, I turned off Fallout 76 encumbrance mechanics, or whatever the hell it's called, uh, because I guess it's Fallout 76 that allows you to continue moving even when you're encumbered using action points. So I just completely disabled that. So that means the next time I get encumbered, I, I'm truly uh, slowed down. Um, and that will, you know, help keep me a little more honest as we continue through the playthrough because I, I was just, you know, I was abusing that, really. And if Fallout 76 wants to do it that way, that's fine. You know, that's fine. But we're not playing Fallout 76. Uh, we are playing Fallout 3 at the moment. Uh, so moving forward... We uh, have to toe the line, you know, when it comes to encumbrance, and we cannot overload ourselves, um, at least not, you know, when we're way out in the field. If, for example, I want to load up on a bunch of shit at the home and take it up to Megaton, you know, up the road a few hundred feet, that's one thing. But, I mean, you know, when we're out and about doing stuff, we can't let ourselves get encumbered. Because in that case, you know, I'm kind of just simulating making multiple trips anyways. Okay. So let's continue on. We are back at the mall here, and our goal for this episode is to, well, we really need, I, I want to get rid of Sydney. <laughs> I can't get rid of her. Um, so I'm just trying to decide if I want to, you know, do the Washington Monument now since we're here um, or get to the Arlington Library. I, I guess let's just let's just do the Washington Monument now, and you know if she. What's up? I can't tell you to fuck off, can I? <laughs> I, I you know telling her to wait doesn't doesn't work because she just if I change cells or get too far away or whatever she just teleports to me. Since partner so how do you? Yeah, see, there's no way I can tell her to. No longer Ready. help Lead me on. so. Let's just take her with us, and hopefully she doesn't cause me too much trouble as we, uh, you know, try and finish this quest for Galaxy News Radio, uh, where we have to put the satellite dish that we got off the Virgo 2 lunar lander up in Washington Monument for their broadcast. Okay, so I don't think we've been any further west than this point here. Oh, there's another mole hole. Well, that's convenient. So we need to be careful because we're going to have supers. Um, case in point. Okay, let's wait and see if he turns around so I can get a solid headshot. Boom, headshot. Okay. That looks like the Museum of American History. Okay, that's probably another PLI, but I don't have a reason to go in there at the moment, at least not based upon a quest. Okay, we have a caution. I'm not sure from where, though. Nothing in those mailboxes. Okay. 
I don't see an enemy yet. There's one nearby somewhere. Take the darts. Metal gate. Oh, you know what? I think that's the quest telling us where to go. Yeah, because because we have that active. Okay, let's activate the Galaxy News radio quest. And that's where we need to go over that way. All right, it says we're detected, but not by anybody hostile yet. Right here. Willow. Another human with a death wish. Welcome to the mall, tourist. Yeah, it is kind of a dangerous place. Um, you're crazy to stand out here. Aren't you afraid of super mutants? I'm not a tourist. Goodbye. Uh, where the hell did you come? Uh, what's the least rude? <laughs> yeah, wh what about the super mutants? Those knuckle draggers? Nah, they don't bother us ghouls. Maybe they see us as kin or something. I don't know. Now there's other assholes. Other assholes? Yeah, you know, those humans like you. Well, maybe not like you. I don't know, but humans all the same. Yeah, there are some very, very nasty humans, but not all of us are nasty. The Brotherhood of Steel guys with their testosterone and power. <laughs> testosterone. Are. Those Psycho Talon Company mercs. Yeah, the, tyco, uh, the, the Psycho Talon Company, I agree with that um well and actually i agree with the brotherhood and their power armor testosterone too um those yeah assholes. i got you okay but you have to you have to at least acknowledge that i didn't shoot you on sight right so um i'm not a tourist where did you let's just pretend like we didn't say where the hell we'll just say where where are you from nice to meet you too oh sorry i know that was kind of rude i'm the sentry for underworld City of ghouls. I've heard of that place. Inside the museum. For a tourist, you're pretty clueless. Uh, I'm not a tourist. My name's Willow, by the way. Okay, well, nice to meet you, Willow. Um, I'm not a tourist. Come on, here you are in the mall of our nation's fine capital. Taking in the sights, visiting the monuments. No, I'm actually trying to steal the Declaration of Independence, and I've already stolen something from the uh, Museums of Science and History. So, yeah, not a tourist. Face it. You're a tourist. If you want to call me a tourist, that's fine. Just don't shoot at me. Um, did you say a city of ghouls? Sure did. Underworld. It's right inside the Museum of History and through the big skull. So next question. Can I go there and sell stuff without getting shot at? Or at? Most of the residents ain't crazy about humans. But they'll sell to you there we and go. fix you up so long as your caps are good and you ain't a ghoul hater. I'm not a ghoul hater. Well, not... Not the sentient kind, anyways. The kind that want to eat me? I kind of hate them. Uh, okay. Why don't we... Till next time, sightseer. Okay, so why don't we, um... Go there just to get it on the map. And I also want to... Let's discover this mole hole so that way we can come straight here and it gives us another place to sell. Buy and sell. I love it. I see something over that way. Oh, that's Brotherhood. Okay. They won't they won't bother us if we don't bother them. Even though they do have power armor and lots of testosterone. What about the female brotherhood, though? They don't have testosterone, do they? Or maybe they do. Maybe they get treatments. I don't know. Okay, nice. So we have another fast travel point. Just checking to see if there's any supers over there that might get our attention. 
Um. Oh, wait a minute. Does she... Do we go underground here or do we go into the museum? I thought she said... I thought she said we go into the museum. Hmm. What does this say? Metal gate to museum station. Uh, we've already been in museum station, actually. Right, okay. So let's go into the museum and discover this city. I don't have a whole lot to buy and sell at this at this point. But I want to at least discover the place. Is my... There we go. There it is. She said, go through the skull. Door to the underworld concourse. Oh, well, would you look at that? We got us a smooth skin visitor. Ooh, we, we ain't seen one of your type in a long time. Okay. Um, I already know what you are. I know what's smooth skin means and i know where i am um let's just play stupid you're in underworld smooth skin it's the only safe place for we ghouls in dc we're here out of sight and out of mind didn't gob want us to talk to somebody here at some point the mutants leave us alone and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city so it's not bad really the brotherhood of steel is the only thing we have to worry about so long as we don't leave underworld that is um, <clears throat> why, okay, why specifically does the Brotherhood of Steel not like you considering you're sentient and not hostile? Bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Or maybe they just don't care. Probably the second they see thing. see us and shoot on sight. That's too bad. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most of the time. <laughs> Still, bigots. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um, tell me more about your city. That's right. As long as you don't bother us, we won't bother you. Feel free to come and go, trade, sleep, whatever. I appreciate that. Thank you. Just um, make sure that you leave whatever trouble is following you at the door, because we don't want it. Fair enough. So enjoy your stay, smooth skin. Thank you, Winthrop. Um, all right, I'm going to have a look around. Enjoy your stay. Just try and keep from shooting up the place. I will try. We got a nice little deal going on down here. We'd like to keep it nice. Yeah, it's in my best interest to keep your nice little deal going on down here, too. Okay, so we're good. Um, What is your re uh, your repair skill? Can you pay me? Then of I course. Then I can repair your stuff. I can absolutely pay you, uh, except for that you don't have very good skill. Okay. Um, what do, you, what do you do around here, Winthrop? Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights, water, and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. Gotcha, okay. I've managed to keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. Why? What's wrong? We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can safely get to. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long I'm going to have to disassemble poor old Cerberus for parts. Cerberus. Hey, you get around, don't you? Tell you what, you bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. Um, okay. I, I'll i probably do that to a certain extent, but um, I need the scrap metal too, so we'll see. We can work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. Okay. Uh, what sort of payment are we talking about? Well, we got stim packs, but the doc keeps us healed up, so we don't really need them. So I could trade one of those for five bits of scrap metal. We also got us a ton of Rataway and Radex. Okay. I mean, what good is it to us? Right. But I'll trade you either one for five bits of scrap. Your choice. Okay. That sounds like a good deal. Um, How about I do nothing and you give me what? No. Uh, sure. I'll try and help you out, Winthrop. Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. 
Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. Okay. You'll find it just about anywhere. Oh, yeah. Junked robots, in old buildings, you name it. You bet. You bet. Okay. Um, I do? All right. Really? Great. I can finally get around to patching up the heaters. Uh, what was our deal again? For every five bits of scrap metal. Right, okay. Uh... Wait a minute. Do I... I don't think I have any scrap metal on me. For every... F I didn't think I did. Okay. But we'll bring them some at some point, probably. Um, hundred caps, you know, mind wipe on the android. Okay, why am I still concerned about the android? Didn't we finish all that quest? I don't know. I'll have to look at that. Uh, what else can you tell me about Underworld? We were driven underground, um, almost 50 years ago now. Between the super mutants, the beasts, and you crazy humans, it's not safe up there. Understood. So we stay down here, out of sight and out of trouble. We get a few smooth skins every so often, but most of us don't trust them. You're not going to give us more reasons not to be trusting, are you? I don't plan to. Okay. Um, all right. Let me know if you have any of that scrap metal to sell. Will do. Okay, let's put our weapon away so people don't think we're going to shoot at him. And um, we need to find... I want to find the vendor. Don't let the smell get to you. <laughs> uh, okay, no comment. This is the wasteland. I'm kind of used to bad smells. Patchwork. Huh? Ah! Jesus Christ! Don't, don't sneak up on me like that. The last fella, the last fella to do that damn near lost my arm. You lost your arm? Okay. You're new here. Yeah. You must be since you're actually talking to, talking to me. I'm Patchwork. They're just patches if you like that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, shit. I forget. Okay, you having a hard time, are you? So you're the town drunk? Are you all right? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I guess. No. Yeah. I'll be okay. I just... I just need to try not to lose any more of my parts. This Understood. Time. Okay. And Doc Barrows says that he's... He's getting tired of putting them back on me. So, you know, if you see any... Just bring him back. Okay. You be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself anymore. You sure? Some some people make me hurt myself. Because uh, it makes them laugh. I won't do that to you. Where can I get a drink around here? What can, what can you tell me about Underworld? What can you tell me about? What, wait. What? <laughs> this guy's in loony. Okay. <sighs> That's Winthrop. Let's talk to Tulip. Oh, a human. Well, hello. Hello. Welcome to Underworld Outfitters. It's... It's been so long since I had a customer. Okay. Um, what do you do with the money you make down here? Do you know anything? Uh... Yeah, I guess I could ask that. Well, we spend it at Carol's or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The Ninth Circle. You mean like the ninth circle of hell kind of thing? <laughs> it doesn't sound like a friendly place. Um, the rest we give to Quinn to trade for stuff we need whenever he goes out. Oh, Quinn goes out and trades. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about the underworld? Well, yeah. There's a lot of old pamphlets and stuff down here. I've pretty much read it all. What was the place before the ghouls moved? It used to be part of the Museum of History. The exhibit that used to be here was focused on what happens after death. Hell and whatnot. Oh, okay, so that's where we get the ninth circle. Gotcha. A lot of it was focused on this old book called Paradise Lost. It's about a guy who goes to hell. Yep. Pretty interesting stuff. I've heard about that book, and I think I may have even read it many, many years ago. I found a big box of copies of the book in one of the back rooms. Here, take one. Nobody around here wants them. I don't blame him. That's all bullshit anyways. Okay, um, how did all the ghouls end up here? At first, it was just a couple people after the war. This was one of the only places that wasn't falling down or on fire after the bombs fell. I think that Carol is actually one of the few that were here then. Okay, Carol's been around a while, huh? But over the years, word got around. 
There had been ghouls living in little pockets all around. Not really so much anymore. Most of them either went feral or ended up here. I'm sure there are still a few out there. But anyone with any sense is in Underworld. I know of at least one ghoul that's out there. His name's Gob. He's a pretty nice guy. Um, <clears throat> isn't it dangerous being this deep into the city? Not really. The super mutants leave us alone. I guess whatever they do that turns people like them doesn't work on us. Understood. Okay. The Brotherhood of Steel will fire on us if we're out in the open, but they don't bother us down here. So I've We've heard... had some raiders and slavers poke their heads in. But we've got Charon and Cerberus and everyone else to take care of them. Charon and Cerberus. He talked about taking Cerberus apart. I wonder if that's like a turret or something. I guess when it comes down to it, being this far out of everyone's way is a good deal for us. Okay. Um, thanks for the information. Come back any time. It's kind of lonely down here. Well, you got all your other ghoul friends. Um, what do you have for sale? If any of the armor fails to protect your life, I'll give you a full <laughs> refund. <laughs> That sounds like a damn good deal to me. That's hilarious. Okay, uh, she's got 459 caps. Um, we'll sell darts. I don't give a shit about Paradise Lost. I'm going to sell that. Uh, we just we haven't really gone back out to do stuff, so I don't have a whole lot to sell. Okay. Um, do you have... You, oh, you have 308s. Okay, we're buying our 308s. All of them. Except for the tranquilizers. Because we can't, for whatever reason, we can't break those down. I'll buy your 45 auto P rounds. And I'll buy the hollow points to break down later. We'll buy your armor piercing 556s. I mean, I've got so much of this back at the base now, though. Um, do you have 20 gate? Yeah, I'll buy your pulse. Wait, pulse slugs. Yeah, I'll buy those from you for robots. So, yeah, we're mostly we're mostly doing this to stimulate the economy for our new friends here. Salt, baseball, flamer, grenade, drum, infiltrator, tactical stock. I don't think we have an infiltrator. Wow, she's got a lot of mods, though. Ooh, carbide teeth for the Ripper. Let's buy that. Power fist ported chambers. No. Uh, do you have primers? Yeah, we'll buy your primers, too. Okay. There you go. There's some economy for you. doing business with you. Come back. Okay, let's go to here and go to here. And we'll put this carbide teeth... Increases damage by 10%. Very nice. Hello? Can't have a good head. Okay. Um, hey, you. You know what we could do is... Let's break down the th normal 308s. And the hollow points. And the hollow points. And the normal 556s. Five, five, and then we will make armor piercing 308s. We will make 45 auto round pressures, pressure rounds, armor piercing 556s. Five, five, and there we go. Okay. Every day there's something new. The generators go down. The okay, water so sh the air filters die. It's a miracle that some of this shit works in the first place. What do you do? Scanning. Oh, you're Cerberus. That's okay. Good. Civilian on deck. He's a military bot. Um, can you tell me you ever get outside Cerberus into the wasteland? Negatory. I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Understood. Okay. Go underworld. Go ghouls. <laughs> Damn this pansy zombie programming. <laughs> okay, what can you tell me about Underworld? This is a town full of peace-loving ghouls, so check your bigotry at the door. They're just like humans. They feel, they hurt, they bleed. They deserve the same love and respect as any human, and don't you forget it. I agree with you. I have no problem with that. At least that's what they programmed <laughs> me to say. 
<laughs> right, okay. Personally, I think they're a bunch of rotting zombie maggot farms. Okay. I'd send them all back to hell if I could. Damn this combat and hit <laughs> Okay, uh, so you, uh, obviously you are the guard dog. I am Cerberus. It is my solemn duty to guard the citizens of Underworld against any and all threats, both foreign and domestic. Okay. So, yes, I'm the guard dog. Gotcha. <laughs> Resuming patrol. <laughs> you do that. That was hilarious. Okay. Um, are there any other vendors here? It's not like he has any time to train anyone to fix this shit over here. I swear that he did something. If I knew how, I could win for the hand, but I have no idea how long. So this is she's they uh, or Winthrop rather said we could sleep here. Not that I need to sleep right now, but just for future knowledge. Okay, how about in here? Oh, this is Winthrop's room. No, we're not gonna steal from him. Not that I could open that anyway. Door to the chop shop. Oh, okay. Where does this go? Also goes to the chop shop. Before we go in there, let's go look upstairs really quick. I wonder if anybody down here, if we can talk to any. Okay, there's. Oh, Mr. Crowley. What are you looking at? You'd think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before. I have. Uh, easy now. I don't have anything against you guys. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing son of a whore? Yeah, I mean, I don't appreciate that, but I'm still not going to hate ghouls because you said that. I might kill you, but not anybody. Other ghouls. Okay. Milk-sucking, shuffle-stepping, brandy and grave. Wait, what? All true except for the part about the mutants, the water, and the whore. <laughs> I don't need to stay in the Okay. Milk-sucking? You shuffle-stepping, brain-eating, grave-loving zombie. Um... Why do I get the feeling like he might actually appreciate it if I say that? Uh, no, let's go with this. All true, except for the part about the mutants, water, and the whore. <laughs> I like a human that knows this place. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. Right, right, okay. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. I understand. And you know what really pisses me off? No, but you're about to tell me. They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, <laughs> like in yep. the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Uh, yep, okay. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. What do you want me to do, Mr. Crowley? Um. Not everyone is as sympathetic to ghouls as you are. In fact, some humans are downright bigots. Yes, they are. They treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Mm hmm Well, I'm going to make them pay. Uh... Before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? Uh, it depends upon the circumstances. Not for the right cause. I, You know, I honestly really kind of don't like where this is headed. Forget it. I guess you aren't the right type. If you want me to do, like, wholesale murder, no, I'm not the right type. Okay. okay. Okay, we gotta go to Carol's place. What's in here? Snowflake! Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that. A human with hair. Hey, you think we can do something about that? What exactly does that mean? What about my hair? Yeah, man. That's what I do. I cut hair. Oh, are you like a character I know, changer I know guy? You look around here and there ain't a lot of work to show off, right? These corpses only got half ahead of the stuff. So I never get a chance to work on a full head. Come on, no charge. Um, how, what can you, uh, are you talking Jet over here? Wait, what? What can you tell me about Crowley? I know he doesn't sell Jet, bastard. <laughs> you want to know about Crowley? Go ask Quinn or Greta. I don't follow the gossip around. Quinn like or Greta, him. okay. How how did you end up being a barber? I prefer stylist myself, but whatever works for you. Everyone has a gift, you know? Yep. I used to live in Rivet City. I've been there. Folks there had enough money for me to do okay. But after I uh, changed, no one would let me touch them. Uh, I see. Okay. I ended up here. Of course, a ghoul with a barbershop makes about as much sense as a screen door on a submarine. <laughs> so, pocket. Yep. I just took up Jet. At least it passes the time, you know? Okay, well, I can't really blame you for that. Uh, are you... 
Are you taking Jed over here? Well, yeah. So, what else do I have to do except get high? You think that I need to be sober to cut a ghoul's hair? Half the work is cutting the skin <laughs> off. These guys don't care how they look anyway. They just humor me. I got you. Okay. I... Uh, I mean, I don't have a problem with you cutting my hair because you're a ghoul. I might have a bit of a problem with you cutting my hair if you're high on jet, though. <laughs> so, let me think about that. Remember, no charge. I know, but... Yeah, right. Okay. What's in here? Oh, that's the ninth circle. Okay. And what about this? That's Okay, let's go into Carol's place. Oh, Carol... Is Carol the doctor? Oh, there's Quinn. All right, Quinn's either sick or sleeping, though. You need something, hun? Hey, Greta. You need something, hun? Yeah, I need to know more about Mr. Crowley. Um, what can you tell me about Mr. Crowley? He's an odd one. Why, just a few months ago, he decided he didn't like people calling us zombies. I can't really blame him for that. No ghoul likes to be called a zombie, but Crowley was going up to humans and almost daring them to do it. Okay. Um, what do you know about Underworld? To tell you the truth, hon, I don't really know much about it. All I know is that it used to be some sort of exhibit. Something about hell or the afterlife or something. Tulip knows that sort of stuff. Okay, I think we already talked to Tulip. Not like anyone around here ever buys anything from that shop of hers. I just spent like three or four hundred coins over there. Well, caps, excuse me. Um, what is on the menu? You're in for a treat. The finest food in D.C., Four stars. Okay. Um, she's got 142 caps, but here again, I don't really have anything to sell. So, do you have steamed Mirelurk? You too. I'll buy those from you. Stimulate the economy. A pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, You'll Greta. Be back. I will, most likely. Okay. <coughs> Terrible air down here. Here's Carol. Yeah, what is it? Oh, <laughs> oh my, someone new. I'm, I'm so sorry. You must think I'm terribly rude. That's okay. Welcome. Welcome to Carol's place. I'm Carol. Hi, Carol. I'm OG. It's not much I know, but it's mine. So if you need anything, just let me know. Greta will get you any food you want, and I handle the rooms. Understood. Okay, so you run it's the hotel. It's so good to have someone new here, even if it is an ugly old smooth skin. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just I kidding. know. I know you're kidding. Don't make that face. You'll love it here. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Have you ever heard of Gob? Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son. Oh! Well, not really. Not like you would think of a son. We ghouls don't really work like that, but I love him like he's my own. He's a good guy. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Is he all right? Um, he's he's alive. I don't know that he's very happy in his current situation, though. He's working in a bar in Megaton. He works for a guy up. Yeah, I think he might be a slave. That's that's terrible. But at least I know he's alive. So that's something. You know what? I don't particularly care for Moriarty, so if you want me to help free him, I'm probably amenable to that idea. If you get up that way again, tell him that I said I miss him and that I love him. I will do that. Absolutely do but that. he shouldn't try to escape. It's too dangerous. No, no, he should stay put where he is. I couldn't bear the thought of him getting hurt. Okay, but what if I set aside my scruples for just a little bit and slit Moriarty's throat? What do you think about that idea? Hmm. Okay, Um. how did you end up here? Oh, that's such a long story. You couldn't possibly want to hear about that. Uh, I'd love to hear your story. Maybe the abbreviated version, though. Well, okay. But it's nothing special. I was born in 2051, so yes, that makes me a pre-war ghoul. Well, you weren't a ghoul before the war, though, I don't think. Do you remember the day the war started? I do. I was in a shelter with my father when the bombs hit. In D.C., we had the luxury of getting a warning after the West Coast was gone. Hmm. 
I was just a little girl then. We couldn't afford a space in one of the vaults. I remember filing down into that shelter, my father rushing me in. He stopped to help this one family. And I looked up and called his name. There was a flash of light brighter than anything you can imagine. Mm -hmm. I woke up a few hours later. The first thing I did was run up to where my father had been. He... he was gone. Sorry to hear that. But the strangest thing... There was his shadow burned into the wall so crisp and clear like he was standing next to me. The heat had burned it into the concrete. Crazy. What was the waste... Um, uh, yeah, what was the wasteland like after the war? The city was on fire for weeks, maybe months, I don't know. I hid down here in the museum. It was the closest building to the shelter I was in. But I could hear what was happening above. People howling like animals, chaos, looting, killing. It's like every foul thing inside of them came out. Okay. It was a nightmare. I I don't want to talk about it. I can't blame you. Uh, how did you end up as a ghoul? I don't know how it happens. Dr. Burroughs says it was radiation. All I know is that people kept showing up here in the museum. After things calmed down above ground, we tried to live down here as best we could. After a while, things got strange. My skin started to get dry and flake off. Everyone's did. It took a while. Months. Maybe a year. But sooner or later, everyone ended up like this. Okay. Some of them went crazy. Some of us just accepted it. After a while, other ghouls would find their way in here, and Underworld just sort of grew. No one bothered us down here. We were happy enough to leave them alone. And once my Greta showed up, it was a good enough life for me. So you and Greta are like an item? Okay. I have no problem with that. Uh, see, and you said you weren't interesting. You tell the same story for 200 years, you'll feel pretty <laughs> uninteresting too. <laughs> All right, good point. I really like her. Carol's awesome. Um, all right. You run this place with Greta? That's right. Her and I have been together for, oh, about 60 years now. Nice. Okay. But things haven't really been the same since Gob left. He was like a son to me. I think Greta was always a little jealous of him. Hmm. Okay. Um, what else can you tell Every me about that? Since world? we founded the town. Before that, well, life out in the waste wasn't very pleasant for us. I can imagine. But so long as we stay down here, we can live our lives as people, not monsters. I think things are better this way for everyone. Understood. Um, what about Crowley? The back room renter? Oh, he's a swell guest. So polite, too. Never gets mad at anyone. Okay. I've been letting that room to him for about a year now. Gotcha. Um, sounds like a normal guy. Yes, he's much nicer than some of my guests. How much do you charge for a room? No. Oh, 120 caps, I guess. Okay, I might take you up on that later. Um, okay, then. Don't need to sleep right now. Okay, thanks for the information, Carol. That was all don't very interesting. Don't let get to you. Uh, they won't. Uh, I appreciated that information. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. I'm not thinking of breaking into there. Okay, so... Um, where is, okay, this was Greta. Morning, hon, what will it be? Okay, I just wanted to see nope. if she had anything to say about Gob. Quinn, hopefully you're just... That's probably where you sleep if you buy a bed. Um, he, this isn't actually a... I want some food. I just can't get enough. Can't a you? medical place. It's a, it's a hotel. So, Quinn, excuse me. Work. Sorry to wake you up, but I have a couple questions wow. for you, if you don't mind. Oh, why, hello there. Pleasure to meet you. 
I'm Quinn. Oh, you sound like a cherry guy. Pleasure to meet you too, Quinn. Uh, nice to meet you. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. Oh yeah, you're the traveling guy. Okay. Uh, where do you go? Oh, here and there and everywhere. I've explored all up and down the coast, from the Commonwealth to the pit, all the way down to Crater Banks. Okay. I also do a fair bit of trading. You see, folks here, they don't have much of a connection to the outside. Right. So I move their goods and caps out to the wastes and bring back in what I trade for them. Okay. Is the Lincoln Memorial... Uh, uh, why am I asking him about the Lincoln Memorial? Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Okay, well, we can fix that. Uh, what's this Mr. Crowley up to? I might know something interesting if you're willing to pay for it. Uh, why should I pay for it? I don't give away anything for free. Besides, it's obviously worth something to you. Mm, not, not really. No, nope, I don't actually give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I like you. Okay. Whatever. So, okay. if I run into oh, you out in the waste, we can trade, right? Thanks, I just... Greta. I've just never seen you out there. Greta. Yeah, no, you better be be a nice, Sydney. Okay, let's go. Okay, he's the haircut guy. Let's go into the ninth circle. So this must be a bar. There's Crowley. Charon. Talk to Azra Cal. What's the deal with Crowley? Azra doesn't like it when I talk about his customers. Okay. You're too nosy for your own good. So he must be like, he's one of their other guards. Okay. <clears throat> well now, looky here. We got us a smooth skin that I ain't ever seen before. I'm Azra Cal, and this. This is the ninth circle. Okay. Folks got problems, and I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups. Huh? You need anything, uh, you just let me know. Okay, who's the guy in the corner? That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me, and he won't mess with you. Understood. Um... Uh, he doesn't what does he do for you well okay so he is he your slave no he is not sir you insult me i do not believe in slavery it is an abomination i agree with you i'm sorry i did not mean to insult you i am a firm believer in personal choice to force another person into bondage is unthinkable Chains are earned, never forced. I completely agree with you. Sharon made some choices that landed him in my employ. The matters of our contract is between him and I, no one else. Okay, none of my business. I hear you. Um, what? Okay, let's talk about something else. Very well. You ask. I know I do. Sorry. Uh, why am I asking you about the Lincoln Memorial? Yeah. Just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Okay. Um, what's the deal with Crowley? If I start telling tales about my customers, I'll lose all of them. You probably won't because, you know, this is a very small community and you're the only bar around. But anyway. Yeah. Well, don't let it happen again. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to talk to you about Shara. What can you tell me about Underworld? It's the only place in the capital wasteland where my people can escape the misery of the world above. Right. And that misery, well, it makes a man like me very happy and very, very wealthy. All right. That kind of makes you a dick, but, you know, I, I sort of get it, though, too. All right. Um, I mean, you know, he's the bartender, so he needs to sell alcohol for people to drown their sorrows so he can make money. Sort of makes sense. Um, he's still a dick, though. Okay, um, well, let me see Why, what you got. Why, whatever do you mean? I'm a simple barkeep. Nothing more. Oh, what are you worried that the DEA is going to come down here and bust you? 
<laughs> oh, look at these people. They're jetting. Trust me, I know. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll take my cap somewhere else. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't be hasty. I'm sure that we can work out a compromise. Here, step this way and let me show you what I have. Okay. He doesn't have anything we actually want, but... Okay, um, goodbye. There are no worries that can't be... Oh, you know what? Something just occurred to me. I think he's someone we could actually get as a follower if we wanted to. <laughs> we probably have to do something for him to release him from his contract, and then he follows us. Good to see you. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Okay, we're back in the concourse. I still haven't found a vendor that, you know, sells weapons and stuff. But we still have another area to go into. Whoop. Weapons, parts, that sort of thing. Everybody seems to be like food and drug vendors at the moment. Okay, let's go to the chop shop. Oh, shit. Uh, so, oh, you're the doc. Dr. Barrow's at your service. What brings you to that chop shop? Come to lend me a hand, I hope. I can always use fresh human samples. What exactly do you mean by fresh human samples? <laughs> yeah. You haven't heard? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. Radiation? So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid. So you're saying like when I look in one of the super mutants' gore bags and I find, like, limbs, that's what you mean? Uh... Well, okay. I might bring you samples from... Other sources, if I have like a Ziploc bag and latex gloves and disinfectant, but I'm not giving you anything for myself. Pity. Well then, what can I do for you? Particularly because I don't have any rotten samples anyways. At least I hope I don't. Um, well, kind of lipoplasticator microder. Okay, that's more of that Android thingy. I'm going to have to relook at that because I thought I was done with that quest. Uh, what do you know about Crowley? Nothing. Why? What have you heard? You've heard something, haven't you? Well, I mean, he's a little sus. Me? No, I haven't heard a thing. Really? That's a relief. Okay, um... Okay. Well, we have another come doctor... if you need anything. ...that we can come to if we need anything. Can I take that stuff? I guess so. What's he doing with glowing ones in here? Interesting. Okay. Uh, Riley and Nurse Graves. Welcome to the chop shop. I'm Nurse Graves, Dr. Borrow's assistant. Don't let our place's name fool you. The doctor is very good with injuries, dismemberments, and trauma. Okay, good to know. If you require any stim packs or blood packs, let me know. Thank you. Uh, do you talk to Crowley much? Can you tell me? Why does everybody want me to talk about Crowley? He's not my type. Doug Borrows is friendly with him, though. Why don't you ask him? Hmm. Um, I'm injured? Certainly we can help you. Okay. Oh, and we only... Gotcha. Okay. Is this something I can pick up? Yes, I can. Don't right. even think of breaking into that. You be quiet, Sydney. You're worthless. There's no response from Riley. She appears to be in some sort of coma. Oh, Riley's not a ghoul. I'm afraid she's going to be out for a while. She's not well at all. Don't worry, though. I'm sure the rest of Riley's rangers will show up soon and take her home. Where have I heard of Riley's rangers before? Uh, Riley's rangers? Oh, you must be new around here. I am. They're a mercenary company that bases itself out of the D.C. ruins. I'm assuming she's their leader, Riley. Probably. What was left of her armor had her name stenciled on it. She was in a pretty bad way when they found her outside Underworld. What's wrong with her? She had multiple lacerations, contusions, broken leg. 
Some internal bleeding and blunt force trauma. So she tangled with super mutants. She hasn't been conscious since they brought her in a few days ago. I'd say she tangled with some super mutants yep, called and it. lost. It's a miracle she isn't dead. Okay. Um. He just told me that. Is there any way to revive her? Well, I wouldn't recommend it. She's in some sort of coma. It's dangerous to force someone out of one. Okay. There's no telling when she'll come out of it, I'm afraid. Um. How, how did she end up in the chop shop? She was just brought in by a few others. They found her bleeding to death at the entrance to the city here. If she'd been out in the tunnels any longer, she'd have been someone's meal by now. Okay. Um, I mean, I, there's no way in hell I can revive her. My medical skill sucks. Um, I uh, know. Yeah, I'm saying I gave you permission to wake her up. Wait, what? Okay. No problem. Just don't disturb the patients. Well, thank you for taking care of her, even though I don't know her. Uh, maybe this will come come into play later. I'm not sure. Okay, well, uh, so that's the medical. Oh, hello, Quinn. Do you like yeah. just trade, like straight up? No, nope, I guess you don't. Okay. So we didn't really find anybody that trades like in weapons and and parts. I guess the closest person was uh, the outfitter's lady, Tulip. You came back. Um. Take a look. Okay, so we, we can actually trade weapons and stuff to her. I just saw uh, I just saw the word outfitters, and so I was thinking she was just strictly an armor vendor, but she does she does everything. Okay, that's very good to know. Okay. A pleasure doing business. Come back soon. So I want to go. Uh, I'm not going to do this right now, of course, but I want to go talk to Gob again and find out if there's any way we could maybe Every set him free so he could come back here and be with his Water family and friends. So we might pursue that later. All right, let's do a save here before we go back out into the bad, bad world. And uh, let's see if we can get back on track now with... Mm. Why do I get the feeling like if we go down here, we're going to run into glowing ones? Maybe later. Um, I want to get back on track with the Washington Monument. looking to see if there's anything to loot up here. Nothing. Okay, let's go. Nothing? Okay. So it's good to know she's on guard out here because we could pull mobs over to get her to help us, but we also have the Brotherhood over here. That can also assist us if we need help. You've discovered the Washington Monument. Achievement unlocked. Discover 50 locations. Nothing to see here, outsider. Move along, outsider. Do we have a password? Uh. What the hell's going on? There we go. Enter password now. Open outer security gate. Oh, right. Three dog gave us the password. I remember that now. Take that. Oh. 
Okay, repair the damage radio relay. Completed, find the Washington Monument. That looks like an elevator. Goodbye, Sydney. And use radio relay. Install the Virgo dish and activate the relay. Oh, there we go. Nice. That's it? We're like no resistance or anything whatsoever? <laughs> we got a reloading bench up here and a bed we could. Oh. Apocalypse gladiator armor? What the hell? Perception bobblehead. Nice. Okay, what's this armor? Sneak plus 20? Are you shitting me? So it's heavy armor that gives us sneak. 33 damage resistance, 9 damage threshold. It's, I mean, our Navy combat armor is pretty much just as good. It's actually, it's actually heavier. I never even realized that. But it gives us plus 10 to guns and repair. That's, I mean, plus 20 to sneak is really good, but that is an extremely heavy piece of armor for us to be carrying around as an extra set. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep it, but yeah, also, we should probably actually be in our combat armor now. Okay. Freedom's wing. That's a 45 auto pistol. It does a uh, 80 DPS. Now our snake lore is still way better. Hmm. But it is a named weapon, so we'll keep it for that reason. Look at the view from up here. Very cool. All right, I guess that's weapons cache. Three dog. Enclosed, you'll find the coordinates to the military weapons cache that was uncovered in Hamilton's hideaway. We installed locks and everything we could in there to make sure it stays in our hands. Use it in good health, my man, and keep up the good fight. Copperhead. What? Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. National Archive Security Password. No, we already knew that. Despite I, the harshness of the... I think that's what we pick, just picked up in the Ghoul City. Okay, close you find the coordinates to the military... S 
So, wh okay, where's the coordinates? I want to find the weapons cache. Maybe we're supposed to take this back to Three Dog. Capital Research Headquarters. Huh. Okay. Irradiated Metro, the Citadel. We need to go to Arlington. Shale Bridge, Dickerson Tabernacle, Gold Chapel, Axel, Rockbreaker, Fort Bannister, Jerry Street Metro. Oh, there's the regular place there. Okay, that's where we got to go turn the fingers in. Temple of the Union we thought was maybe a slavery place. We've heard of Canterbury Commons brought up a couple times. Girder Shade we need to go to deliver Naughty Nightwear. Though I don't know if I want to actually give it up. It's pretty useful to have. Okay, I, I don't know what the deal is with these coordinates uh, for this weapons cache. So maybe it's just something we need to talk to 3Dog about. I'm guessing. But I think what I want to do now is... Uh, are we are we sleepy? Eh, no, we're actually in really good condition. Of course, we've spent most of this episode in Underworld anyways, talking to ghouls. So I think what I want to do now is take her to Arlington to get that Iron Gall Link or whatever the hell it is so we can get rid of her. Sorry, Sydney, but uh, you're just kind of a pain in the ass. She's not actually that much of a pain in the ass, but she's just not very useful either. I know that's mean to say, but it is a fact. What if we're going to get attacked when we get to the bottom of here? We need to get an actual real companion that I could get to carry our shit. <laughs> That's really what they're useful for. Uh, you didn't hear me say that, Sid. Okay, let's go. How do we get... out of here? Like that. Okay. Ooh. Caution. I want to kind of look around out here. Let's turn that off and let's put these on. That's a little better. Okay, caution, why, why? Why are we cautioned? Oh. Okay, missile launcher, missiles. Is there a reason why the game just gave that to me? Like, is there another behemoth around? All right, there doesn't appear to be any enemies inside of this compound. The caution may be coming from enemies outside. Doesn't look like I can get out. Oh, that's... Is that the Lincoln Memorial that way? Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like I can get out that way, so... Hey. 
All right, so we have a couple paladins that we could run back to if we need an assist, and we also have the the guard over by the Ghoul City too. Let's take a look at the map. We are here. We need to get to Arlington, and I think probably the quickest way to do that. Well, it's on the other side of the river, though, so that means we got to get back across this bridge. But I don't th think we can get to that bridge from here. We could try it, but the way this game works in DC in particular is you can't just go as the crow flies because it's got all these blocked off areas. And going west well yeah west is actually the direction we need to go so let's just go west you're oh you're another brotherhood okay keep moving wastelander i'll keep moving you just stay here and help me if i need it so the brotherhood have the monument guarded ooh no 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 i don't want radiation right now Let's go back to here and go to quests and I mean he's gonna tell us to go to Rivet City. We already know that probably, but we'll we'll finish it out anyways. Okay, let's activate that quest and that means we need to go that way. Wait, what? Now let's show okay, so it's it's telling us we need to get back to Anacostia. So that confirms that we have to go back through the metro to get there. I don't think we're going to be able to do that overground. Okay. So if that's the case, I kind of am a little curious about going down to the Lincoln Memorial. They kept telling us in Underworld, uh, or we kept asking in Underworld about where it was. So there's got to be a reason for that. There's another metro this way too. All right, we've got a, we've got some um, Uzuma was it? I don't want to melee them because they they might uh, give us a disease. Of course, I don't remember rad roaches giving diseases. The the mole rats definitely do. Let's go along here. These little bastards are all over the place. We have a metro there. I think she's bugged somehow because she should have her 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 uh, 45 submachine gun. Mall Southwest. All right, I'm pretty sure I know where that goes. It's probably just the other side of that metro tunnel that we were in a few episodes ago when we were start first working our way over here. Jefferson. Doesn't look like we can get through there. There's a dead super muty. What do you think you're doing? I'm doing what I always do. We've already had this conversation. Here, I'll just take all of it and we might have to drop that. Laser rifle later.
door to the memorial maintenance room. Okay. That's close enough. What the hell are you doing wandering around here? Silas. Um. Want something to drink? Kill and steal. Not necessarily a my mistake. I'll... Easy now. I'm just curious about this place. Curiosity can get a wastelander killed. I'm going to let you through, but you'll have to talk to Mr. Walker first. Follow me. Okay. Oh, and stay off the memorial steps. They have orders to shoot anyone that gets too close. The dirt path is safe. Right. Okay. Silas, you're... Okay. He's not a Brotherhood guy. I'm not sure what faction he belongs to. Alright, let's take these off. Keep moving. Mr. Walker is waiting. What's wrong with your head, dude? I'm Leroy Walker, and you're probably wondering about what we're doing here. I am, actually. Looks to me like you're getting ready for war. What are you really doing here? No, not really. I think I'll just be on my way. Who are you guys? We're from Paradise Falls. We're looking for escaped slaves. So you're slavers. Have you seen any? Uh, no. I haven't. If I had, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, that's true, but let's not get ourselves in a trouble quite yet. I haven't seen any recently. That's too bad. You know, you seem like the type of wastelander that might be for hire. I need someone to get some loot out of a nearby ruin. Are you interested? <laughs> Uh, it depends upon the loot, it depends upon the ruin, and I don't know if I want to work for slavers. It's a museum, just past the Washington Monument. I'm only interested in stuff related to Abraham Lincoln. Bring me back whatever you find. Why, if you're a slaver, are you interested in Abraham Lincoln paraphernalia? Oh, and don't try to go into the memorial. The guards have orders to shoot on sight. What is this place? It's the Lincoln Memorial. This Lincoln guy supposedly freed all the slaves before the bombs dropped. Mm hmm So the pussies built a memorial <laughs> to him. <laughs> okay. It's got our slaves thinking that they can be free too. Why are you interested in Lincoln artifacts? Don't want slaves using them to start a revolt or anything. So we burn them. Okay. Good luck in the museum. Bring me back something and I'll let you get a closer look at the memorial. I have a different idea. Though I'm not so sure I'm going to enact that idea right at the moment. Right, okay. That's close enough. The memorial is off limits. Right, it is, so you say. Uh I see th three dudes. Uh right, yeah, three dudes. I'm not. Okay. So, yeah, I think that we are going to come back and pay these guys a visit from long range. But we're not going to do that right now. So. Let's go down into the metro and get on over to Arlington so we can finish up this Declaration of Independence quest. Oh, no, don't go near that.
This goes to the hazmat disposal site L5. Uh, this is not where I th thought we were going to come out at. Yeah, see, that hasn't been looted, so we haven't been here. The question is, can I use this metro to get back to the main metro to get back to Rivet City? We're probably going to have glowing ones down here, too. I don't have any of my radiation gear with me. Mm, yeah, shit. Where? That's it. That's it. Bang. I'm hit. Hey. What do you think you're doing? See, I don't know. Let's take these off for a minute. I don't know if this is going to get us back to the main metro. Because I don't recognize this place. And there's radiation there. goes into a cave. Get our silenced weapon out. There's a lot of ferals down there. Okay, let's, um... Sure, that's a good idea. No, I'm not at all sure that that's a good idea. Sydney, back up. How did he not set that mine off? Got over here. Ooh, weapon repair kit. We'll take that. You won't get away with that. I will, actually. Alright, where does this go? Oh, radiation. Stay awake. No, I got one. You're not doing jack shit. Combat ultra stem, nice.
wasn't the best of shooting. Alright, so this gets us back up into the metro. Let's go ahead and do one of those and one of those. And there's a super muty. I just got away with it. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Where does this go? La. Enfant Plaza. I probably butchered that pronunciation. Where are we at? Okay, so this seems to suggest that we might be able to go down to here to get to here. Oh, the irradiated metro. Does that go on? That must go under the river. You know we're going to have glowing ones if we go in there, though. They are kind of scary. And guess who's there? Our good old friends, the Talon Company. <sighs> okay. Uh... How about we go up there, take all of that stuff, and we can plant some mines so if they try and come up the ramp to get us, no, correction, when they try and come up the ramp to get us, they'll get hurt. I hope you know what you're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. That keeps things exciting. So they just wasted a super. We'll let the supers soften them up, and we're going to need to put some mines down here, too. Explosion. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Ooh, lordy. I was trying to get up on the ledge so I can... Alright. They are aware... of us but not... Okay. They're going to... Obviously, they're going to come up that way. Oh. That big explosion took some of them out. Yep. Come on. Come right on up there, buddy. That didn't kill you, huh? Hey. Where? Oh. 
Okay. I think everybody's dead, except for me. A hunting shotgun, huh? Reinforced talon armor. Okay, that doesn't encumber us, but going to get us close. Let's go back and get our other mines here. Okay, now we're encumbered and we can't use action points to cheese it. So let's just loot everybody else and then we'll decide what goes and what stays. All right, let's see here. That's a 6.9 VW. That's a 4.8. It's an 11.6. What we could do... Uh, yeah, let's... um. Okay, that becomes a 16 VW with 224 caps. What will we repair that with? No, we don't want to do that. Okay, so let's drop this. The reinforced helmet. We can repair with those two. Bringing that up to a 14.7 VW. Even with all of that, though, I still don't think we're going to have enough because we're carrying this really heavy stuff here, but that's, you know, that's named equipment. I don't want to throw out named equipment. All right, let's go look at weapons. I mean, honestly, Freedom's Wing is not worth much, but it is named. So again, I kind of want to keep it just for collecting, collection reasons. That's got a re pretty good VW, actually. Um, and, okay, and it's got some mods on it, too. That's only a 7.1 VW. Let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of this 8.9. That's a 10.5. Both of the laser rifles kind of suck. Uh, the laser, our missile launcher really sucks. We don't need the nail board, of course. The 32 is 9. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so that... That gets us down to 310. And uh, it, will you? we can work with that for now. What is this place? I don't know. It's kind of cool looking though. All right, so be, uh, before we leave this area, I don't know what that dot is right there, but it seems to imply that we can get to it. So let's try it. Also, let's do a top off. looking at I'm hungry I need something to eat meat would be good a Brahmin head roasted just a bit with some that does sound kind of good what are you some kind of human why you care okay let's see if we can oh shit there's two of them there See, the problem is we could take those guys out, but then we're going to probably get the attention of these other dudes. I don't know if they can get up here, though. I think they can from over this way. Yeah, 
they could get up over here. Okay, we better take these guys out down below. Are you sure that's a good idea? As usual, no, probably not. It's a dead mutie over there. Okay, that went pretty well. Let's watch for traps Why here. You look where you're going. Uh, we'll take the frags. Oh, look at all the caps. Oh, shit. No, I don't want to sleep. I want caps. Make sure I'm aiming at each one because the otherwise the game thinks I want to sleep. There's a wrench. We'll take that. Uh, combat helmet. Ooh, scout handbook. That probably gives survival. We'll take that, but we'll probably... Man, we can't open up the trunk. Let's go to data. Miscellaneous. Or no, sorry. Uh, aid. Permanent survival, nice. Okay. This combat helmet is in shitty condition. And it's got a terrible VW, so we're going to ditch it. Wait a minute, can we use that to repair this? No, we can't, okay. So we ditch these guys down below. Or not ditched, I mean killed. But we got a bunch up above that we have to be mindful of as well. What direction are we going? We're going south. Okay, that's good. What do you think you're doing? I can tell you right now that laser rifle isn't going to be something we want to pick up, so we're going to leave it there. Pick those rifles up for the moment. But we're probably going to have to either use them for repairing or ditching. Let's look at the map again. Keep, oh, right there. Let's keep going this way. Help me. Uh, don't say help me. Run. All right, who else is shooting at us? I'm going to find you. Seems like somebody was shooting at us from over there. I'm going to find you. I'm Where not, did you go? I'm not seeing them, though.
have something for you. Ooh, I was sure I heard something. Look what we have here. Oh, get away from that car. Watch out. Wow. Hey. Okay. We'll get him. Oh shit. Where's that coming from? Look out. You finally picked up a weapon at least. Goodness gracious. All right, let's um top off here. <laughs> Sydney. What am I going to do with you? All right, whoever was shooting at us earlier is no longer shooting at us. I just don't know where... Oh, okay, up there. I see. Hey! Look out! Okay, I think um, that guy was the biggest threat. There was somebody up there sh over that way. Sh oh, there he is right there. Okay. Wasn't my best marksmanship. Okay. Okay. Uh oh we have lasers coming from over here. Help me. There. Go take him out. Use your thingy. There you go. Give him a taste. Oh shit. Gonna say give that asshole a taste of his own medicine. Hey! You'll get him. Super mutant master shit. Look out. Okay. That hurt. Uh let's do a blood pack and a med kit. Med kits cannot be used in combat. All right, so that got us as healed as we can get. Hey. Help me. You'll get him. That was a nice swing you did there, Sid, on that guy. Oh, she's almost dead. All right. <laughs> 